Hi, kitty cats. Today is July 9th, 2024. And first, I want to wish my wife happy birthday on this final day of my journey. Tomorrow, I check into the surgical clinic to begin preparation for gender affirming surgery. Since my first video back in April, I've counted down 79 days and I have only one left to go. I've talked about the science and philosophy of being transgender. I've talked about my own fears and expectations, and I've tried to answer questions asked by viewers. Now, along the way, I made some true friends, people I consider brothers, siblings, sisters, whether or not they're part of the LGBTQ community. And along the way, I've also found detractors, those of you who treated me with disrespect, misgendered me, cursed me, wished me failure in my journey, wished me death. To some of you, I tried to talk about my experience, and some of you responded. Others of you only became more disrespectful and abusive. So some of you I simply hid from my channel entirely. I don't need your distractions. Not when I have a message I want to convey. I bring a message that all humans are essentially equal by virtue of being human. Each of us possesses the rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is, we have the right to our bodies and minds. We have the right to discover who we are inside without fear of social repercussions. And we have the right to manifest who we are in our lives. Now, some of you disagree with me. You believe I should be compelled to act as the person you want me to be. You believe you are more qualified to determine who I am. What could fuel such hatred of a person you don't even know? You fear a person willing to reject social expectations. You fear a person willing to risk your abuse to be happy. But why would anybody fear that? My message is about freedom, not conformity. A message of respect for the entirety of humanity, not hatred for those who are different. Each of us deserves respect for who we are. Even if our dreams can never come to fruition, we deserve the freedom to dream them. So many years ago, I dreamed of changing my external appearance to align with the person I know I am inside. My dream is about to be realized. So love me or hate me, in front of this camera, I became the person checking into the hospital tomorrow. I wish each of you precisely the person you choose to be. I hope you choose to be constructive and uplifting to the rest of humanity. But if you choose otherwise, know this, you did not stop me, nor did you stop my mission to assist others in their journeys beyond social expectations. Far from it, and this video is evidence the human spirit is simply too bright. So I will talk to you tomorrow from my hospital room. Bye.